a journey it's been the last 13 years. Yes. I mean, what an unbelievable journey. This is the time where everybody needs to take a deep freaking breath, okay, and understand who we are and quit listening and worrying about what other people say. Right? We are Clemson. We got a long way to go this year, but you best believe Clemson ain't going nowhere. All right? And we're going to keep doing it the Clemson way, building great men through this game of football. All right? That's what we're going to do, and we're going to win at the highest level as consistently as anybody's ever won in college football. That's what we've done, and that's what we're going to keep doing. So I just want to say that. <laughs> now, what you want? Let's go. Ahead. <laughs>
I am at Bojangles in Pendleton. It's it's the Clemson version of Bojangles. My favorite Bojangles. We're here for uh, an appearance on WCCP. They've been having the Tigers for Tatas campaign, and just here to help promote that, support that, talk a little Clemson football, and hopefully uh, inspire a lot of people out there to, to, to get involved in, in helping uh, defeat breast cancer. It's gonna be a great day and hopefully a good show. Let's use the platform to raise money and let's give it away uh, to people who need it. And when, when our time is up here, uh, whether it's two years, five years, 20 years, whatever, you know what, we, we will have done something more than just for <laughs> We just are privileged and honored to give you a donation today to help out. It's more than just the football on Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate and, that. Uh, but we enjoy that too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Well, this has been an exciting day here at Bojangles uh, in Pendleton. Had Coach Sweeney and his wife out for an excellent cause, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness, which we were honored and privileged to be a part of. Bojangles was so generous today. They gave our foundation a $5,000 check. We are so appreciative of all of you out there that help us with our Tigers for Tatas campaign. Thank you and go Tigers! Candy corn, yes or no? Terrible. Yes, it's not it my go-to, so but it's good, so it's planned. My name is Rashard Hall, Director of Career and Professional Development for our Scholar Athletes within Clemson Football. You're in a special time of career preparation for our Scholar Athletes, whether that's entering traditionally or the NFL route. This is a time where we're bringing in specialists to continue the education and preparation that Paul Journey's honestly been putting in since day one as a freshman with our students here. This is Rebecca Munlin, and I am a leadership development consultant. We have been spending the last couple days here with these young men. We've been doing some mock interviews, preparing their resumes, and just guiding them as they make this transition into the workforce. Envision what a Clemson football player looks like at 30. We come here to help develop that person, to help them realize what their true potential is in both academic life, but also in what they do off the field for the future. So what's up Clemson family? Uh, it's Jabril Robinson checking in with you. But my biggest takeaway from this interview today was basically just finding out exactly and pinpointing exactly what it is that I wanted to do as far as my production. So I wanted to get into production and she pretty much helped me get the idea and the gist of how I will find the right companies to, to market with or intern with, just to build my brand and have the opportunity to intern through Paul Journey. We brought in career specialists from all over our nation to continue in that preparation of helping our scholar athletes with NFL combine mock interview preparation and also traditional career preparation. Jerry Butler has came in, he's an alumnus here, but an NFL executive leader. To come in and help our guys understand what that first year is gonna be like, what NFL combine interviews are gonna be like, and that entire process. Hey, I am back in town, and I'm having a great time, just having an opportunity to mentor with the guys, and just uh, be in a space to where they can feel comfortable and gain knowledge, because I always said, 
You don't go to class without a teacher. You shouldn't play football without a coach. And you shouldn't do anything else without a mentor. And so I'm in town here to be that one special mentor to these guys that they can depend on and help them to take it to the next level. What's up, everybody? Just got done with my uh, NFL career prep with uh, Clemson alumni Jerry Butler. One of my goals is just to make a team, to make it to the NFL, um, and just learning from him on how to you know, go about different questions that may be asked or go about talking about myself and my my dreams and my goals and my abilities and hopefully using those goals to you know set myself up for the best situation possible. This is an incredible program because we have met some of the most unbelievable student athletes, scholar athletes, and they're equipped and they're ready. Any person who is a hiring agent that wants to work with individuals that understand accountability in the workplace and hard work and perseverance, these are the student athletes they're looking for. It's been a pleasure to help them develop their resumes, help them practice interviewing, and by and large, help them understand what it is that they want to do moving forward. So Tigers out there, let's celebrate the work that's being done here at Clemson. Thank you. Cho chocolate or gummy candies? Chocolate, a thousand percent. Gummy candy, a hundred percent. You're wrong. <laughs> like you're just gummy wrong. Gummy or you're wrong. <laughs> Definitely gummy candies. Uh, chocolate. Depends. Dark chocolate or gummies. I had to pick one. Yeah. I would do gummies. It's got to be chocolate. Food for the soul. <laughs> chocolate, hands down. Gummies all the way. Give me chocolate. Gotta go chocolate. It's three for chocolate. Gummy candy. Yeah! Gummy. Yay! Chocolate. Gummy candy. Okay, DP. DP. Oh, it's gotta be chocolate. Oh, come on. Hey folks, my name's Danny Poole and I'm the Director of Sports Medicine at Clemson University. Very lucky to have uh, two full-time assistant athletic trainers, two graduate assistant athletic trainers, and 19 undergraduate students that help us on, on our day-to-day -day operation of taking care of these guys, getting them ready to play and bringing them back from injury. And there's a lot of a lot of setup that goes on with this uh, behind the scenes that most folks don't see or hear about. Uh, we're gonna try to take you through a little, little trip today and kind of show you what we do behind the scenes. What's up guys, my name is Maddie Ferguson. I'm a student athletic trainer here at Clemson and I'm a senior going into my fourth year. Today we're gonna give you a tour of the training room. Hi, I'm Gilly Griffith. I am a student athletic trainer here at Clemson. So what you see behind me, this is a STEM machine. STEM is um, for muscle recovery. This is ultrasound, so this is just some of the stuff we use. This is our whole rehab center. You can see some of our students behind us. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, we're just hanging out there in meetings right now, so yeah. So now we're on the other side of the room. This is our more weight-based rehab. Right behind me is something really cool. It's our Alter-G, it's our zero gravity treadmill. It's zero gravity for athletes who are not weight-bearing yet to help them get their cardio back without putting weight on their injury. We also have some turf area where they can do jumping and running and just other rehab to get them on the field quicker. Hey y'all, it's Kurt Robinson. I'm a student athletic trainer here and a water distribution engineer. Well, the duties of a water distribution engineer would be consistent of setting up the field pregame, uh, pushing fluids pregame, and making sure all the boys are hydrated during the game. And that's what I call high quality eight tool. Uh, I'm gonna show you around the wet room today. Here's where a lot of the athletes will do uh, rehab and treatment through warm water immersion and cold water immersion. We also have a lap pool and some underwater treadmills for the guys who are currently doing rehab. Oh, time for practice. Time for indoor practice. <laughs> they don't see it. <laughs> Alright, time to load up the truck. See you in Syracuse. Welcome to the dome. Time to set up. Alright, so on a on a game day. I'm usually with the team, but our assistants and graduate assistants and, and our students are here getting ready. That starts, like I said, about four hours for a game. Set the training room up, set the field up uh, with all of our supplies, and just get ready for when we show up, which is two hours prior to a game. 
Ice on me hit, whole lot of ice. Turn it on miss, whole lot of ice. Hold up your wrist, whole lot of ice. Hold it like this, whole lot of ice. The great thing about this job is that, you know, we get to year in and year out build relationships with guys that are 18 years old to 22 years old. That trust factor that, you know, we have to try to develop with them, you know, to have confidence in what we're doing uh, is a big part of the process. I love these guys like they were my own, you know, just that love factor there that, you know, you want to see them succeed and you want to try to push them through an injury as safely as possible to get them back on the field. That's something that they love to do and something that we love to watch them do. The bad part about it, there's someone that's going to get hurt, but the great part of that is 99% of the time that person is going to get right back up and work hard and get back on the field and compete just like they were competing uh, before they were injured. So that's the that's the fun part of this job. All right, all right, vlog friends, newest member of our sports medicine staff, Ryan Ross. He's our uh, our new physical therapist. It's going to be working with uh, all of our athletes. So it's good to have Ryan with us, and we appreciate him. Ice, ice on me, hit, whole lot of ice, turn it on, miss.